What's going on, guys? It's my, I'm here with my boy Cody with another episode of Deep Fried. We're always deep. Might be fried. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> We're always fried, bro. Oh, uh, amen, amen. Let's take a cruise. Let's park that shit and say. Come on, it's a nice, beautiful day out. Fucking sexy out. Hot. <laughs> Loving this May weather, man. Sundress weather, boy. Fuck yeah. Oh, oh no, he's coming out because sundress is the night. Hey. Shit. I'll tell you what, man. As the sun came out today, I felt like a new man. Yeah. Had to go outside and catch my tan. That's the only reason I'm not looking <laughs> any, any darker than you right now. Oh, yeah. I feel you, brother. I'm, in, uh, I'm still burning. I haven't seen a certain tan. every second of every day. It's just the, the amount. Yeah. No, I burn first. Oh, shit. I burn a solid two to three times before I get to get on. Keep evolving, bud. You'll get there. Yeah, sooner or later. <laughs> oh, no. Shit. Oh, I you thought there was something to drink in this bitch. No, no, I'm just, uh, fucking ash. There ain't no drinks on the cho- on the choke train. We're choking Yo. out tonight, ladies and gents. Hey, cheers to all y'all smoking <laughs> up with us today. Oh yeah, it's a cozy Friday. We're straight chilling. Oh, it's May the 10th, right? <laughs> yes, sir. So, Detective Pikachu's coming out today. Fucking go to the movie theater stone. Make sure you smuggle all types of food in that bitch. Hell yeah. I'm actually really excited about this Pokemon movie because... I'm excited to see like live action Pokemon. Yeah, you don't get to see that outside of like fan films. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's interesting. I know they fucking spoiled the whole goddamn plot in the trailer. I hate it when they do that. You you, you see a trailer and you're like, man, I wonder what they're gonna do. And then they have that one split second shot of like Mewtwo. And you're yeah. like, oh, I know what's gonna happen. As soon as they say Cinnabar Island, I know what's gonna happen for the rest of the movie. Right. If you know anything about Pokemon. Exactly. But most of these motherfuckers going because they played Pokemon Go a couple months ago. Yes. They're like, yo, let's see. They don't know shit about Indigo League. What you know about Indigo League? Yo. They don't know shit about Indigo League. Yo, bro. I've been on Indigo Road since I was three years old. I've been playing that game since I was three. Oh. When my brother beat that game, I was seven. No shit. Yeah, that's the thing I miss about. That's the thing I miss about being young. When you play video games when you're young get a different perspective of it because you're fucking stupid yeah it yeah, took yeah. me five years to beat legend of zelda ocarina of time and i can do it in 35 minutes today yeah. maybe not 35 minutes Fuck. i know my whole way around i can say every line like yeah the adventure is still there but the wonder is gone well yeah i mean you know what this is such a as good imagination as you do it when you're a child and not even that the imagination you have as an adult is based off of that that you did as a child. Yeah, true. You you want to cycle back to the, the past. Yeah, how can you how can regain you, that creativity? How can you glean information off of what you've already gleaned information out of? Yeah. So that's the thing, and that they say that acid really helps with that the creativity and imagination. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And like I I would agree with that, but I also think that if that acid in, in a whole kind of brings you back to that fucking newborn baby feeling. Everything is new and interesting, questionably frightening. Yes. I feel that. Exactly. And you I can't really do, do much for yourself, if anything. Yeah. Or else you're going to start crying. <laughs> no, no. No, no, for real. Denzel publicity on that shit, they piss me off. Yeah. It, never, it never works outside of Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had oh, 
speaking of, oh shit, what's the ambulance doing up in this bitch? Yo, broken tire. Shit. Yo, that's wild. My boy had a broken tire on his combine. Oh. Yo, are you gonna get lost this time again? No. No, we're fucking not. Honestly. <laughs> Genuinely. I'm going, I'm going the correct way this time.
dark skin. Oh, I see. No. Yeah, we yeah. have our own version of racism. My mother specifically was the darkest skinned of her family, and all of her sisters would make fun of her for it, and all of the people in her school right. would make fun of her for it. So but, she's dark skin. But don't you think that's come to like not? Don't you think that that's becoming something that people are becoming more aware of? It is becoming something people are more aware of. It doesn't mean it's going away. Right. But it's climbing but, into the crevices. Right, but I think that it's part of the how it's part of the causes or the effects of you know some of their um, social social justice. Yeah, I mean because that because not only are people of opposite color looking to each other and being like you shouldn't be this way, people of the same color are looking inwards to their own communities and are the same. Look, there's racism within our communities. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean because that's and I feel that it's a, a sort of a ripple effect. And it's a positive one, you know? Yeah, it is. Mm. You know, a few, few kids get shot, now everybody's paying attention. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to trivialize it in any way, but seriously. Yeah. Like, and, but at the same time, like, <clears throat> I feel like the, it's, it ha it's getting better. Like, the, our ability to record information and to, you know, be able to look at anything that we fucking please, whenever we want, has, like, it's made us uh, see a bunch of shit that we haven't seen before. So, we're thinking, oh shit, all this shit's happening, like, what the fuck are we gonna do? And really, it's been happening, it's been worse in the past, we just haven't seen it. Yeah, because we weren't alive during some wars to get out of civil, uh, uh, civil rights to get hosed down. Well, it's it's not even that. It's just like, it's like, um, people, shit, I don't just go out. Oh. You did. It's like, uh. Getting too deep, not to not enough right. Yeah. <laughs> I warned you. I let this go out.
about my fingernails, man. I used to have fucking talons so I could hit that shit. Stop recording.